Do does any members have any disposed to be cuneary interest, non residual interest, declarations or gifts or applications of dispensation? I do, uh, in reference to the plan of application. Mm -hmm. uh, the person working in is a very close friend of mine. Yeah. And I just want to remove myself from, from yeah. any part of that process. Right. No problem at all. You don't have to leave the room. Um, I would, as I spoke a moment ago to you, um, I would just not partake in that part. Don't vote. And you've made it very clear. Uh, any other members, any interests for the agenda? No? Moving on then, item number three, planning application PA 210651. <coughs> and I think there are members of the public that may wish to. Should be. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, no, it's fine. Thank you, Dad. Um, are there any members of the public that wish to comment on planning? Normally, at full council, we invite members of the public to comment, but because we don't have this section on the finance agenda, I'm happy to suspend our standing orders. And I'd like to comment. Yeah. Please, Nick. I'm Nick Peel, and I live slap bang in the middle of the proposed build. And every drawing I've seen of him so far has changed. And on his application, it says it's going to be built from block and timber, but in another draft, it's just timber. The, the scale's different on some occasions. I just want to know what exactly has he put forward. And what are the long term plans? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, reviewed the application online. I note that it lacks an arboricultural impact assessment despite stating that there are trees on the property. It lacks a heritage impact assessment, which is a requirement of the World Heritage Site um, Supplementary Planning Guidance and your NDP. Um, and I note that the plans are appear to be drawn by a child where yes. the, the, the floor plan makes no relation to the north and east elevation plans where the windows are in different locations. Um, yeah, it's a fairly amateurish submission which lacks significant detail and conflicts with your NDP. As the standing orders are suspended, can I ask uh, how long is this building? Um, how long? Um, I have visited the um, applicant today and he has pegged out a 10 metre length between two pegs and he has clearly stated to me that the building will be 10 metres within those two pegs. Yeah. Can I just say as well that the, um, the, the drawing by his architect shows the building only impinging on my garden by maybe three quarters or two thirds. Mm. Yet now that peg has gone right across my garden into next doors. Yeah. Yeah. So the peg, to clarify, to answer your question, what I saw today, what, what was told to me today, was about halfway in line with your green thing in your back garden to your next day, next door, about halfway to theirs. It's so, sort which of, is different. Yeah, which is kind of right in the middle, basically. Which is different to the, the plan that's changed on the portal. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, Can I, I just ask as well? Because he yeah. already has a large building mm -hmm. in that field. Was there planning permission for that, and why can't that be the bike shed? Because it's always empty. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know the answer to that question. No, but, but yeah. that yeah. It, it's not used. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just come on to it. Mr. Mrs. Gordon. Um, first of all, I know that T1 Constable T is just as we've all been Constable T, so we know that the decision sits with Cornwall Council. And I've got a few, just to, if I just check my notes. First of all, there's a complete lack of clarity in the plans that have been submitted. Um, the sighting of the building changes on three different occasions um, and doesn't seem to fit in with the neighbourhood development plan, um, development boundary, um, which seems to have been extended by considerable length, um, you know, considerable amount, almost up to your, your boundary, doesn't it? But actually, the Neighbourhood Development Plan shows that it doesn't even extend beyond your boundary no. when you look at that. Um, and the, the red line just seems to be a movable feast for, the, for, for, for that particular building boundary. 
the siting of it is very, very unclear. Um, beyond that, presumably, it's open countryside, based on what it says on the, the, the name of the development plan. We're concerned about damage to trees and the wildlife corridor that exists um, along a, a very old Cornish hedge. Um, there's a very large sycamore tree that would be damaged. Oh. Totally. Um, you know, it's a, a significant tree and a, and a significant ash tree. Um, it says that the building will be sunken by a metre, but actually you will damage those those roofs of that tree, which overhangs both of our gardens. Yes. Um, the siting of the building is a metre away from a, a Cornish hedge, and we already have an incident whereby the, the previous building, a part of the Cornish hedge, was removed and was meant to be reinstated hasn't been, but that will cause undermining and, and damage to, 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 to that old hedge. Um, drainage is there to be a soak away, because there will be a, at least 50 square metre roof, um, which will be discharging at the top of our gardens and will require a soak away or some sort of drainage. He's already dug a soak, he's already told me he's dug a soak away. Is he? Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's, he's already, no, he thinks he's already got it. Can I also say, at the back of the there's a great big old ash tree, very old ash tree. A few months ago, the ground was level around it, and I'm waiting for the roots to have been damaged for the ash tree to die. Why did he have to, at the back of his of the field, flatten just a, a little heap that was, you know, what, what was that for? He's dug it all up. So if there's an ulterior motive mm. in, I think in my eyes. There is anxiety, I think, amongst Lacey about what the long-term yes. plan is for yes. that particular development. Because yeah. he's been telling us all that he wants to build on there. Yeah. All um, of them, since he moved in. Brian? To report to members of the public, and, and I have seen from both sides, I met with neighbours and I met with the applicant this afternoon. I, I, no, I've seen no services put in. It's just two pegs that he has put in the ground to show me how big it is in scale. It does vary slightly uh, on the plan. He's saying that he's putting in an amendment via Cornwall Council to make sure that it's moved across a metre, metre and a half, so it's going to be... It totally blocks my view, yeah. No, towards... <laughs> so it now comes over to us. It goes the length of my garden, though, doesn't it? The width, it totally does so what, width what, of my garden. Yeah, what he has shown me um, is, is it moving um, away from a yew tree, slightly, more to pretty much in yours, and bordering Hope Cottage. Oh, yeah. That's where he, so basically. Yeah, but my garden didn't tell me is wide at the yeah. top there. Yeah. So he's gone right across it. So yeah. that's going to be my view, is that. Yeah. Yeah. And a neighbour next to me, where all the laurels are, a neighbour has a garden there, and he will not allow the neighbour to cut the laurels, and it actually. I've killed their garden. I've killed their garden. They're going to lie to me. And I, 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 the, I know the neighbour's son did. Start to cut them down and call the police on them. Right. So I'm um, sorry, we're not yeah. digressing slightly. Yeah. We have to. We'll, I'll let me bring it back to you know the, the, the planning application. Yeah. And if there's any, are there any other members of the public which would like to speak on on, on planning at all? Yes, sir. <coughs> I'd just like to um, say that it, it, it it's a bit worrying that a plan has gone in for for a building which is. Six and a half metres tall, I think. Well, that's not anymore. Has that changed? That's because yeah, the, was, the scale was wrong. I think. Three, yeah. Oh, well, there we are. You see, we're all confused by the plan. At the top of the apex, I've been told it's 3.3 metres high. Well, the plan is completely wrong then. It's 20. Uh, if you look at the plan and work out to the scale that he's put on there, it's 20 metres long, 20 metres, mm. and six and a half metres high. Mm. That's not a single uh, story dwelling. Public. Mm. Any of the members of the public speak? Yeah. I should know being state standing orders. So thank you very much for your comments and your and your input to the public. Councillors, I'll put it back to you for discussion. I think 
kicking off, if you want, having seen it both, my report to you as councillors is that the dwelling itself, I would have no issue with the dwelling itself. It's a dwelling. Is it a dwelling? But it will be a dwelling, wouldn't it? It will be a dwelling. I mean, that's the thing. Because of the garage, it's now a dwelling. Three of us Freudian slept there. If I could ask you not to shout out. Sorry. Sorry. I use the term dwelling because that is just a term that is most familiar to me. It may, I cannot comment what it will be in its no, exactly. The, the application, the actual building that's going to be there, in my opinion, is a perfectly serviceable designed building and would be fit for what he has put on the plan. However, we must take into consideration that having viewed it from the other side of the hedge, it is a complete blockage of one residence. Um, building uh, back of the uh, back of the um, hedge it is completely right the way along and then the other side it would certainly impact on them either side of the building because it's quite it's quite bad he's also given me plans which i have not seen on the portal which is a fence here and some shrubbery <laughs> but we can that is what um, we were actually talking about the portal and not actually so that you Yeah, exactly. I'm just saying this is what. So that this is admissible. That shouldn't even yeah, be I'm just, yeah. yeah, I'm just saying that this is this is just saying to you this is the confusion with regards to the portal and what the different different documentation that's been surrounded around that members of the public haven't even seen. So I'm just trying to say that what the, what is shown on the portal, to every different piece of information is a little bit misleading. Um, as to what exactly is going to be built, what, what is going to shape or form of <coughs> being. If it was a very simple bike shed, store, office, going along where it says, it would be perfectly fine. But where it's being put against this gentleman's hedge and around it, I would have serious concerns that it is completely blocking. Mm -hmm. You look out your back of your house and you just see the roof of the roof. Of the he house. has a building yeah. at the back. Yeah. I'm sorry, we in. are in okay. council. Sorry, I could just. Please, if you sorry, if, I, I've not been involved. So that's just my comments to to councillors. Um, obviously, there have been other comments that what is it going to be in the future? But in terms of actual the application, we can only judge it what is before us as a bike store office, etc. There's two issues, I think, and there's the confusion around what it will look like, mm. where it will be, okay, and, and, and its size. So really, unless we have a definitive um, answer to, to that via the portal, I don't think it's incumbent upon us to um, approve or disapprove of that. I mean, it, it's irrelevant. Secondly, I think it's outside of the development plan, so I hear, I'm not sure if that's the case, but if it is, then I think we should be uh, rejecting it on that ground. Have you comments here, sir? Very, very similar. Um, that no matter the rights and wrongs of the planning application, I would not be happy to vote yes for it with no clear description of exactly where the building is, what size it is, how high it is, because we have very conflicting results on that. And from what I can see, it is definitely looking to be blocking this gentleman's garden. So, and very close to his boundary and the trees. So. Personally, I would recommend it for a refusal at this point. Yeah. Um, if people are unhappy with not knowing exactly what um, the application is, we do have an option to defer to the full council meeting um, and to ask the planners for a definitive uh, uh, explanation of, of what exactly is this planning application for, where, size, etc. Mm -hmm. To defer, no, it's unfair. You've got mm -hmm. everyone who's a right here and the village just about. <laughs> it's the same, oh, we're not doing anything, we're going to leave it. It's unfair to this lot and unfair to ourselves. Mm -hmm. But we do something mm -hmm. better tonight. Yeah. It, it was just an option that if people were unhappy with the Right. I was about to say, but and anything that the council told us 
for the next few days could be superseded by an amendment, the amendment that's planned mm -hmm. to go through yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. so, I, so I, I would mm -hmm. personally not wish to defer it yeah. because, of, because mm -hmm. of the amendment. Yes, sir. As you know, I'm, I'm normally very much in favour of people being able to do things sensibly with the ground that they own. But it's quite clear from what's being said that there's great um, confusion in perhaps one way, but it's not clear what the size is going to be, what the material is going to be, what the purpose is going to be, really. Um, and so, you know, I feel that, yes, we should not support it. And also, of course, it impinges on our, our own planning um, documents as well. No, my thoughts, when I looked at the plans, I haven't actually been there, but my thoughts are, it was extremely close, but there seemed to be a large area within the Fox's whole sort of right land space that it was very close to other people's properties and the fact that it would be then impinging mm -hmm. on a hedge and the fact of the hearing the comments that it could then sort of fall roots of trees and everything so there's a risk of going blind and everything. So that was my thoughts. And it does tell us we do not know well, well, there's no sizes that were clear to me either. I had no idea how far the hedge was going to be. So and what it's actually gonna the finish was gonna put look like whether it would be in keeping with the area or not. So um, those were my sort of um, thoughts about not being happy with that. Any other comments? Up for a little bit longer so that Darius can record it. All those in favour of the 